Hello guys, what's up? This is me, Sir Ernest, and today we will have an example related to uh, multiple expansion. Here, the problem reads four particles, one charge Q, one of charge 3Q, and two of charge negative Q are placed as shown in the figure. Each a distance A from the origin, find the simple approximate formula for the potential valid for points far from the origin, valid at points far from the origin. Express your answer in spherical coordinates. Okay, so we have four charges here. They are all equidistant from the origin, okay, located at this points. Okay, one charge is Q, two of the charges is negative to Q, and the uh, fourth charge is 3Q. Okay, so this equation tells us that the potential, so remember that you will notice that if we're going to look at the potential here, at the total charge, the total charge is zero so what does it mean if the total charge is zero at points far away from it this will not look like a single charge so that means the monopole term or the monopole contribution to the approximate uh, approximate potential will be equal to zero okay so that means the next approximate will be a dipole so we know that the potential of a dipole is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times p dot r hat over r squared so that means we need to find the dipole moment vector of this configuration to calculate the dipole so now let's compute for that P. Okay, so because this is a discrete distribution, we can rewrite P for discrete to be equal to sum of QI RI where I is equal to 0 to N. So in this case, our N is 4. Okay, so if we're going to expand this, we have the following. So for 3Q, we have 3Q times A Z hat. So this is A Z hat. Plus Q, let's say this one. So this is negative 2Q times a y hat so this is a y hat then below that's plus q times negative a z hat so this is sorry this is negative a z hat and then lastly, this is plus negative 2Q times uh, negative A Y hat. Because this is negative A Y hat. So simplifying this, we have, so combining Z components, so this is 3 Q A minus q a z hat plus negative 2 q a plus so this is plus 2 q a y hat and this is zero 
Okay? So, this is now equal to 2QAZ. So, what does it mean? It means that the dipole moment is along the z-axis. And it points from this configuration to this configuration. It points upward because it's more positive in this area than in this area. In the y direction, it's basically symmetrical because this charge has the same charge as this and they are both at the same distance from our origin. Okay? So that means our dipole moment will be along the z direction. Specifically, it's along the positive z direction. Okay? So therefore, this is now equal to uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 times P, which is 2 QA Z hat dot R hat over R squared. Okay? So therefore, the potential is the total potential is now approximately equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2QA times cosine theta where theta is the angle between P and R hat divided by R squared Okay, and this is a dipole. Okay, so all other contribution can be neglected because we already have a, a good approximation in this equation. Okay, so this ends our solution to problem 3.29. I hope you learned something here and thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.